I'm going to show you how to make an SMS chatbot that uses AI to respond instantly to the messages you send to that number. I'm going to show you how to make it, but first I'm just going to show you how it works. So as you can see here on my phone, I have this AI chatbot. So when I send this SMS, who is Steve Jobs? As you can see here, I send it there. In just a couple of seconds, I will get a response from Claude. And he says that co-founder of Apple, innovative uh, tech entrepreneur, etc., etc. So now I'm going to show you how to make this make.com scenario that instantly responds to your messages, SMS messages. So the first thing you'll need to do is head over to a new make.com scenario, click on create new scenario. And in here, we want to start off with a custom webhook. So we just search here for, or there we go. There's a webhook and we use the custom webhook. And now we just need to call this webhook. We click on add and we need to call this webhook uh, Twilio chatbot. Okay, click on save. Now what we can do is that we can copy this Twilio chatbot. And we can head over to our Twilio account. So if you do not have a Twilio account, you need to sign up for that and you can get a free, I don't know if it's free, but it's, you can definitely get a number from Twilio. Once you've set yourself up with a Twilio follower, you will need to go over to console.twilio.com and head over to develop and then click on the phone number, find the United States phone number, manage active numbers. And then you need to, let me just turn on my camera again. There we go. And you need to click on your phone number and you need to scroll down all the way till the webhook where you need to enter the webhook URL you just made. I've already done this, but I will enter the new webhook URL and then we can click on save configuration. Now what we can do inside of our uh, make.com integration is that we can test this webhook. So we can click on run once. We first need to set up the module, click on okay just, and then uh, use run once. What we'll do now is that we will send a message uh, to this phone number so we will say hey as you can see here we got the message and it said hey and i got an instant response saying accepted from twilio because that is what happens when we do not have a webhook response but we will set up that webhook response so what we can do now is we can use ai to respond with a message so we are going to use claude for this one or we have to say anthropic there we go create a prompt and we need to have a max token set to 200 or something because the text is going to be short. And you can say assistant. And for the content of the assistant, I will just copy the message I used for my last uh, make the comments scenario here. So I will just copy that, paste it in here. And then as you can see, you are a text assistant who will respond to text messages, your responses has to be brief, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then the message to your AI will just be user. And then the content will be what we received from the webhook, which was the body, as you can find here. Click on OK. Once you've done that, we can try it again. So if you click on Run Once, and now we can say, who is John Cena. And once it receives that, AI will respond with the message pro wrestler and actor famous for his WWE uh, career and catchphrase, you can see me. Very good. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is we need to uh, make a webhook response back to Twilio. So we need to say webhooks and webhook response. Now, the thing, uh, the way you have to structure your webhook response to Twilio is what they call a TwiML. So you need to use this format right here. This is going to be the format, response and a message. There we go. And then the message is obviously going to be the content we got from the chat or the cloud, which was text. There we go. Click on OK. And also we need to make sure that we have set the headers to content content type and the value to 
application slash XML. Click on OK. Once we've done that, we can run this once again. And what we can do now is we can say, who is Elon Musk? And once it receives that, it sends it to Claude, which will send a message back to us, hopefully. Let's see if we got the message. We did not, so, so I just realized I wrote uh, content the wrong way. I wrote content, not content. There we go. Click on OK, and we can run this once again. And now I need to say, who is Elon Musk? Musk again, and we can see what we get from the response right now. As you can see here, I got a, or I just need to turn on my camera again. Sorry about that. There we go. As you can see here, now we got a chat back from Elon Musk. And if you want this to uh, basically run every time you send a message, you just need to click on immediately as data arrives. And then you need to click on save and you're, you're all good to go. That's how you make a SMS chatbot. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.